All right, welcome to my Rift Warden Stellan gameplay and review. So as you can see, Epic Games has sent me the brand new skin, which does not release until tonight. So you only have a few hours before you can purchase this skin yourself. And it looks like it includes a skin, a back bling called the Warden's Star, the pickaxe called the Warden's Oath, and the Rift Warden's Raiment. And that word just means basically clothes or apparel. So first and foremost, let's deal with the elephant in the room because I thought this was a female skin. Even the body structure I thought looked like a female and I'm not the only one. I went on social media to check and everyone said that this is a female. So I was absolutely blown away to hear that the Rift Warden Stellan's voice lines are from a male character. So let's put it to the test. There is an emote called Have a Seat and based on how the character sits, it'll reveal their gender. So a male will put his leg over the other leg and a female character will cross her legs. So here we go. That is 100% a dude. It is a dude. It is not a female. So case closed. It is a guy. So his description says the head alchemist of the Oathbound. And I think this guy is supposed to be a bad guy in the storyline. So he does come with another style called Helmed and Boy, that is creepy. You can see literal hands and fingers on the side of that helmet. That's really creepy. Oh my, there's actually hands everywhere. Look at those big gargantuan claws on his shoulders. I didn't even notice that. And then he's got two hands grabbing at his elbows and there's hands grabbing at his kneecaps down there. There's even a gold hand around his neck right there. Let's see if the back bling has any hands. No, I don't see any hands on that one. That's interesting and creepy at the same time. So someone on Twitter named Kralazek, hopefully I said that right, said that this looks like a My Hero Academia character. And the character he mentions is called Shigaraki. Now, I think he's a villain in the show. I've never seen My Hero Academia, but from what I can read, he's a bad guy. And this is what Shigaraki looks like. He's got hands all over him. Just like this character, there's a hand on his face, there's hands on his elbows, his forearms. Very, very similar to the Rift Warden Stellan here. So I don't know, could this be a tie-in to My Hero Academia? Or is it just a huge coincidence? I don't know. So I'm going to start with his first style. Let's take a look at his back bling real quick. It says, Ceremonial Shield of the High Rift Warden. And then the Warden's Oath says a gift from the Ageless Champion. Ooh, so they are in cahoots. They're friends, at least. It's got a heavy duty swing and a nice rainbow splash. That's interesting. So speaking of the Ageless, I put his Commander's Descent as the glider. And the wrap is not animated nor reactive, but I'll show it on the wrap skin as well. So he also comes with the Warden's Watch and it says the eyes of the kingdom are upon you. Look at that. Now that reminds me of Sephiroth. And if I had seen this picture first, there's no doubt in my mind I would have thought that was a male. Look at those creepy eyes, though. I love this character now. He looks exactly like Sephiroth. So I'm actually going into Team Rumble because if you weren't aware, some brand new perks, aka augments, came out. And you literally have to play the game to unlock them. So I'm trying to knock out two birds with one stone. I've got one so far, zero chance. That's it. Well, this guy likes my skin. So here's what the pickaxe sounds like. Nice crisp sound. So let's see how he looks with the commander's descent. Here we go. Oh, that flows perfectly. The white and gold. Now, the only thing I didn't like about this glider is when you press forward. Right here, I love it. If he was to walk the entire time, it would be perfect. But when he starts jogging, uh, I don't know. I just didn't like that. It looks way better and way more cool when he walks. Regardless, though, this is a great glider, so if you unlock the Ageless, it's going to go perfectly with this Rift Warden Stellan skin. I'm going to land on my teammates and ask them if they think this is a male or female. Hey, Mr. Bok uh, Bok, do you have a mic? Oh, bro, you do? Okay, I got a question for you. Hold on, let me come back to you. Give me one second. I got shot from behind there. Okay, so do you know what skin this is that I have? No clue. Okay, so would you say that this is a male or female? A boy or a girl? Just by his or her, his or her face, what would you say? A girl? 
girl. The girl. Okay. Uh, Gigi White, do you have a mic? No? Okay. Oh, so, uh, emote if you think it's a girl, and crouch up and down if you think it's a boy. Okay. So you guys both think it's a girl, but it's actually a guy. What? Yeah. How crazy is that? So, I'm, I'm oh, wow, I died to the storm there. So I'm doing a review on it right now. It comes out tonight in the item shop. So Fortnite sent it to me early. But when I first saw it, I thought it was a girl. And it's 100% a guy. It tricked me. Well, I appreciate it. Thank you for helping me out. I watch your YouTube videos. You do? Well, you're going to be in this one. Let's go. I'm doing the review right now. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> All right. Okay, I'm going to mute myself just for a second so I can finish the review, though, okay? Okay. All right. So small sample size, but both those guys thought it was a girl. So it's not just me. So let's take a look. The wrap actually looks pretty solid. Now, I'm not sure what's going on with the hair. It looks kind of blocky. Maybe it's just because it's covering his ear a little weird. Doesn't that look strange? I don't know. Something doesn't look right with the hair. Let me spin him around here. I actually really like his face. That's a unique face. And like I said, he reminds me of Sephiroth. So at first, I didn't think I would like the back bling, but it goes down far enough that it looks pretty sweet. It doesn't mess with his hair, because he does have long flowing hair. If they had moved it up just a bit, I feel like I wouldn't like it. It reminds me of what the Ice Queen has. Is that her name? Ice Queen? I think that's what it was. She has that thing above her head. So I'm glad it's not that high. It looks good. And like I said, the wrap looks phenomenal. Get out of my face, kid. So nothing glows on him. In general, this is a solid looking skin. No reactivity, nothing animated, nothing glowing. I love the medieval pickaxe too. I'm gonna die to the circle. I'm gonna die to the storm here, but that's okay. Let's see if anything happens in the storm. Well, that guy's looking at me like, hey, I don't recognize that skin. I should do all my reviews in Team Rumble. People are freaking out. Okay, let's get a closer look at the pickaxe real quick. Yeah, so the pullout sound is good. Nice swing animation. Just like a big old William Wallace broadsword. And as we saw, the splash is kind of unique. It's almost gold, a gold rainbowy effect. Interesting. So overall, very clean. No issues with obstruction when you aim down sights. It's just a unique, original character. I really, really enjoy this. So let's just test one more time that there's no reactivity. Oh, nothing happened there. I'm not sure what that guy was doing. All right, let's take a look. We nailed it. Ooh, I think the eyes might glow. Oh, I didn't see the back of the back bling either. Look at that, it's red. That's awesome. Okay, so that actually looks pretty sick. I was a little nervous that I wouldn't like this mask because I'm not a big fan of them. And it doesn't look like it's that obstructive. It does kind of protrude up a little bit. So of course you're gonna lose a little visibility above your head compared to the first style. But it's not bad. And we need to go in the shade and see if those eyes glow. Oh, those hands are just so creepy, like right on his shoulders. Let's do point it out from the top rope. Oh, what? Why does this pickaxe not work? Come on. That's a bummer. All right, so let's just double check with the eyes glowing here. We're going to make it completely dark. And now we're going to do nailed it. Yeah, so they glow. Just ever so slightly, and you can see nothing else glows at all. So we should be able to see the splash really good here. Watch this. So now you can see that weird, almost holographic rainbow effect. Kind of unique. I can't say I've ever seen that as a splash before. And then the contrail's a little bit the same. It's just harder to tell. Pretty cool. So the last thing to show is the wrap on the wrap skin. So let's go ahead and put it on. So there it is. It's not bad. 
Kind of, of course, it would be way better if it was animated or reactive, but it almost looks like a wolf's face, doesn't it? You can see the two eyes and then the snout. Yeah, I totally see that. You know what else I see? One of those fortune tellers that have the big hats on. I see that up top. So it looks like a wolf wearing a fortune teller's hat to me. Let me know in the comments if you can see that. That's so funny. So just an okay wrap. It matches the skin perfectly though. So there you go. That is the Rift Warden Stellan. A phenomenal original skin. I have no real complaints about it. I actually really, really like this first style. Just a unique character model. I love the creepy hands. The back bling's good. Secondary style is a lot better than I thought as well. So there you go. Rift Warden Stellan comes out tonight in the item shop. Let me know in the comments what do you guys think about him and are you going to buy him and his accessories. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. A like is always appreciated. And don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is TaperTime.